That is perfect. So yeah. arrange your hands nicely like this. And we're done. We have that too. Will you come? The earth is frozen. Unburied for weeks and weeks. Ugh. He needs a room. Can he stay? There was a noise in the night. Are you afraid of the dark? Hi guys and welcome back to Geek Legion of Doom. I'm Lisa from the Lisa Loves channel and I am here to talk to you today about a new Hungarian horror movie by the name of Post Mortem. So as I said, Postmortem is a Hungarian movie. It was directed by Peter Burgundy, who was also part of the writing team for this movie. I have the other names written down. Uh, Piros Zanke and Gabor Helbrandt, and massive apologies if I'm mispronouncing those names. It stars Victor Klaim as Thomas and Fruzina Hayes as Anna, who, although they're not the only people in the movie, are the main two characters here. So what is Postmortem about? So the movie is set in 1919. World War I has just finished and we are in the midst of the Spanish flu epidemic. So our main character, Thomas, is actually just out of serving in World War I. He was really badly injured and um, as he was lying dying, he had a vision of a young girl. Um, he doesn't actually die, he is actually taken out, he's saved. And he concentrates um, the next period of his life to photography. He works with an older gentleman and they work on like a travelling carnival type thing. And they specialise in something that I've always found really creepy, which is post-mortem photography. If you're not aware of what that is, um, back in the day when people, it wasn't a normal thing to have a family portrait done. It was very expensive. Um, people died very young. As I said, we had the war, then we've had the Spanish flu and loads of people are dying, children, babies. And what families used to do is to try and have a moment, a still snapshot in time, they would go to a photographer and pay to have a photograph taken. And in a lot of cases, people within this photograph were actually deceased. There were all manners of ways that the photographers did this. Um, and this is very much displayed in the movie. It's something I've, I have an interest in. I'm a morbid individual. Um, I've always just found it really creepy. So I had read a lot about the techniques and how it's done. And this movie, spot on it has it exactly as they did it back in the day so i don't want to tell you too much about the storyline but thomas and his work which is obviously extremely creepy um is approached by a young girl now this young girl bears a striking resemblance to the young girl he saw in a vision and she asks him to come to her little village and to photograph the dead which is what he does for a living um and he agrees and he goes and from that um you'll have to watch the movie to find out the village is not what you would think. The village is a little bit creepy. So um, I don't want to tell you any more than that. That sets up the story. We're following this photographer and this young girl. They're going to a village to photograph individuals that have just, were already on creepy territory, folks. And that is where the mainstay of the story starts. So what did I think of the movie? Let's start with the positives. Okay, so this movie does an awful lot right. Let me say that just on the get-go. The cinematography in this movie is absolutely beautiful. It was actually filmed um, in an open air museum, so everything feels really authentic. The buildings look exactly as they would have done. The dress, um, everything doesn't look, I find a lot of period pieces struggle with um, people maybe not looking, clothes not looking worn enough, things looking brand new, um, surroundings looking too clean. This really puts you straight into that time, back into the early 1900s, and it really sort of immerses you in the people's culture, in what they're going through at the time. They've just come out of a horrible war, they're dealing with a massive epidemic, and that is alluded to as we go through the movie in different ways. Um, the acting in this is fully on point. Victor and Fruzina, who play Tomas and Anna, the photographer and the little girl, are fantastic. I couldn't say anything wrong about either of them. Um, actors in the background, there are other people we do meet through this and again fantastic acting. Um, a special mention must go to the lady that plays um, Anna's auntie. Um, she is amazing in this. I can't say I felt there was a weak link uh, as far as acting is concerned. There is a negative on that side which I will get to later 
um, and one that really didn't need to be the case. So the cinematography is absolutely beautiful. Everything feels very authentic. It feels in line with the time. It feels it looks like it should. The acting is fantastic. The sound design in the movie works really well and in music or sound effects that's, that are used fit really well with the movie. I don't feel you're being drowned out. I don't feel things get excessively loud in places. There are some effects used in this. Um, there seem to be a bit of a mix between practical and CGI. Um, the practical effects that were used were, I have to say, excellent, were really good. I was really immersed in the movie and the characters. I really cared about what was happening. It's a bit of a mystery. You're wondering, we're trying to get to the bottom of what exactly we're dealing with, of what's happening in the movie. That all worked really well. Um, and for the most part, I have to say, I feel very positively about this movie. It had a real creepy atmosphere about it. Um, it did move quite slowly to start with, but I'm a fan of that. I like a building movie. I like to get to know background behind things. And the last half hour of this movie is just completely batshit. It's just things kick off on all degrees. You've got effects everywhere. You've got madness everywhere. You've just got a massive big build. This, this end is just incredible, I have to say. Everything's happening all at once. You're just getting so much thrown at you and it's like, oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, on the most part, I have to say I feel very positively about the movie, how the budget was used, sound design, acting, cinematography, um, but we do have to get to a couple of small negatives. So what did I feel perhaps didn't work in the movie? Now there are two main things and one of them was a big thing for me. This movie is dubbed. Now I'm not sure how this is going to be um, finally released. Um, it's due for release on the 31st of October on streaming services. This movie needs to be presented in its original Hungarian language. Um, the version I watched, as I said, was dubbed. We have voice actors, which um, I do not feel would have had any impact to the degree that the original language would have. So I'm really hoping when this is released, the screener that I saw um, is just sort of to give us an idea. I really hope and would urge them to use the original language and subtitle that as I feel it would have much more impact to hear the actual actors' voices. Um, I feel some of the voice acting in this, especially for some of the background characters, was a bit poor. Um, that's no reflection on the actors that were in the movie. That's obviously dubbing over the top, which never, to me personally, never works. Um, so hopefully they will remedy that and use the actual Hungarian language in the movie. The other thing I have to add is some of the effects. Now we have some effects that are very clearly CGI. You know, we know I'm not a big fan of CGI as it is. The CGI was pretty poor in the sense that it showed too much and it was a bit comical. Now I have read other people's reviews on this and it does come up numerous times that some of the effects that are meant to be frightening are quite comical and I would agree that's true. Um, for the most part, most of the effects used um, are, are to do with the actors and actresses themselves. The people work really well, but we have effects and the only way I'll put this is, is like shadow people. And those effects, I feel, did detract a bit from the movie. They were too crystal clear. The outlines were too clear. Um, I do feel like a vague shadow, a vague issue of a dark shadow would have worked much better. Um, that did take me out of it a bit. And some of the movements of the shadows was a bit comical, I will admit. So really, it's not very much in, in the grand scheme of things to be negative about. Um, I would say overall I felt very positively about this movie, but please release it in Hungarian with subtitles, folks. The film fans will appreciate you for it. Um, and those those little CGI's, I could have done without, but um, in the grand scheme of things, everything else was so spot on. It feels pretty niggly to just mention that, but I thought I'd mention it to you guys as it has come up on a few other reviews also. So let me know below in the comments what you think. Does it sound like something you would enjoy? Um, I very much did enjoy it and I would recommend it for something different for you to watch. We don't see very many movies come out of Hungary so it's really interesting to see one and one of such superior quality I have to say. So if I had to rate Postmortem out of 10 I would come in at a 7 which is, is a pretty good score for me. Thank you so much for watching folks. Your opinion is always appreciated. Let us know below in the comments if this sounds like something you would watch. How do you feel about dubbed versus subtitles? Let us know in the comments and we look forward to speaking to you next time.